Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. In this tutorial, we have our final cast member, Tamiko Brownlee. She is a professional stunt woman and has worked on multiple projects, which include Hawaii Five O, True Blood, and Torchwood. Since we have a lady on board for this movie, we want to give her a slightly different treatment than our guys. We're going to change the size of the dart at the end of the chain whip. We're going to change the color of her tassels at the end of the whip. We're going to change the color of her hair, and we're going to give her some makeup. Not that she needs any, she's a very pretty lady. In this video, we're going to start off easy and change the color of her tassel. There's a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to show you one that is quick, easy, and without fail. So we're going to open up our smart object of Tamiko, and you will see that I've already masked out everything. Her body, the sword, the hair, everything. You can see tutorials on how this is done in the movie poster playlist below this video. What I want to do is create a quick and easy mask of the tassel and change its color. To do this, we want to use the color range feature. So what we're going to do is press Command or Control J to make a duplicate of the body layer. We're going to dump the mask. And we're going to rename it Tassel. Now, go to Select, Color Range, and you have a bunch of options here. First thing you want to do is grab the color sampler and click on the tassel. You can see that it almost automatically covers the entire tassel very easily. For easier reference, change your selection preview to black matte. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Now you can see that there are some parts that didn't quite fill in completely, so we're just going to click on it and get everything we can. You want to make sure that when you're doing this, you're using the Add to Sample eyedropper. So keep on clicking on little parts of it until it's all relatively filled. Now you'll notice that the rest of the image is starting to show up, and while it looks really cool, that's not what we want at all. So. You want to adjust the fuzziness and the range, mostly the range. And then you basically are trying to isolate that part. So that looks good. And it makes a selection. Now you simply go down to the layer menu and press add layer mask and it creates an isolated mask of the tassel. It's not completely filled in, but that's okay. We're going to change it to a slightly different color and you can keep fussing with it in Photoshop so it covers the entire tassel. Make sure the layer is selected. Go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. Bring up the saturation and change the hue to whatever you want. That's, I like that. It's not much of a change, but it is a change. And we'll also change the brightness and contrast. Image Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Just to help it stand out a little bit more. It's really that simple. So in the next video, we're going to start adding makeup to Tomiko's face. First thing we're going to do is add a little bit of eyeshadow.